Hey guys, hello and welcome back. This tutorial is going to be just a, a quick recap of views and rotating your part. Now, uh, I'm really just kind of going over this again just for practice. Um, I've done several, the, the last previous uh, two or three tutorials were we're on views and and rotating your part and I'm gonna do this last one just as a quick recap and uh, just for just for practice because it's extremely important that you understand this um, it, you, you're gonna have to use this from now on okay so uh, this is a part that we designed in SolidWorks and we call it a gear keychain now the way I'm arranging these tutorials, I'm arranging them into sections. Now each section will have uh, different folders with titles, and in each in each of those folders will have different tutorials. So the way the way I'm going to do this is for each section, there's going to be a folder called Part Files, and every uh, Surfcam demo file, whether it be something that we designed here at Machining Tutorials or if it's one of Surfcam's sample uh, parts, any any demo file that we that I that I use to to teach you guys with is going to be in that part files folder for that particular section. Okay, so if you go to the um, the views and rotating your part section then if you, if you look for the folder that says part files open that up okay then go to surfcam demo files and you will see this all right now um i've i've rotated it so that it's not in top view uh when we first open it okay and all i've done was just color these surfaces different colors here and put some text on them just op 1 and op 2 top and bottom okay now when we first open the file this is what we're gonna see it's not in a machinable view at this point um, you know obviously our, our zero is not where we want it it's way off in space out here so and and a lot of times when you open um, particularly SolidWorks files or some type of other CAD file that you have to translate a lot of times this is what you'll see when you first open it you know it's not it's not always going to be in exactly the view that you need it in to uh, start programming it so I did this on purpose now so what we got to do is we have to rotate our part in order to get it in top view for the side that we want to do first which is going to be the black side and it says op1 okay so uh, in order to do that, you have to have a good understanding of of your views and which view to use. Okay, now if you recall uh, from the from the views tutorial, if we if we want to rotate our part toward us, like like this, or away from us, we're gonna have to go to the right side view. Okay, uh, it, the best way to describe this is to imagine if if you put your your right hand up to the side of your computer screen okay and act like you're holding that part in between your fingers if you rotate it towards you and away from you since since you're grabbing it from the right hand side then to rotate it like this is going to be right side view so we go up here to our uh, C views we double click right side view Okay, now that puts us uh, looking at it from from the right side over here. Now, once again, to rotate it, I'm going to use uh, hotkeys here just just because it's faster, and and I, I hope at this point that you're kind of getting familiar uh, with the hotkeys because it's it's just a whole lot faster than going up here and and clicking all these little buttons. Okay, we we have a uh, a list of of hotkeys also in the in the Surfcam tutorial section that you can download and and kind of study them and and as you use them more then then you'll memorize them and and they'll just come naturally to you. 
okay so I, this first time I'm gonna do it with the buttons and then from from then on I'm, I'm gonna use hotkeys alright so to rotate our part we go to edit we come down down to uh, transform okay then we're gonna go to move gonna come over here to rotate and we're going to say visible because I want to rotate the entire part okay now now it's asking for the rotation angle now if if you recall uh, when you're in right side view positive a positive uh, angle is going to rotate it toward you uh, from the top of the part okay so a positive angle is going to rotate it like that a negative angle would rotate it like this okay and th this is just something you'll memorize um, you know after doing it doing it a few times which different views uh, you know positive and negative which ways it rotates in which particular views so I want to say visible now to uh, to rotate it the way I need it I want to go positive 90 degrees click OK then it's asking me to select the point of rotation uh, right now I'm just gonna say zero rotate about zero 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 okay so it flipped it up for me now uh, I can put it back in the top view now what I want to do is I have to think about this if I was holding it in a vise. You know, I'd have I'd have stock out here. I, I probably wouldn't want to hold it long ways. You know, I'd probably want to hold it sideways like that. All right. So to do that, we, we're going to stay in top view. Now, in uh, in top view, a a positive angle is going to rotate counterclockwise. Okay, and a negative angle is going to rotate clockwise like that. So this time I'm going to use hotkeys. See how much faster that is? That's E R V R V. Edit, transform, move, rotate, visible. Okay, I'm going to say negative 90 degrees, about 000. zero, zero. okay now that that would work but normally I like to set my zero 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 at the uh, back left hand corner of the part which would be up against the fixed jaw usually on the the left hand side for the first op okay so now we can just rotate this 180 rotation angle 180 about zero 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 and fit that to the screen okay so now the part is is the way that I need it to be to <coughs> excuse me to machine this the profile now now what I have to do is move my zero 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 where I need it to be Okay, so I, I'm going to have a separate tutorial um, on on moving 000 around, so I'll cover that more in-depth uh, a few tutorials down the road. Uh, right now, I just I just want you, want you guys to focus on uh, knowing which view to select to, to rotate it the way that you need to. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this, move our zero real quick. okay so now our part is in a machinable uh, state for our first operation alright now I've set up a layer for op 2 just to kind of go over this once more before we move on and op 2 starts out the same way as op 1 did alright so we this time we want to rotate it from the bottom like that okay so if you recall um, a negative 90 is going to rotate it this way from the bottom positive 
90 rotates it that way from the top. Okay, so the first thing I do, come back over here, right side view once again. Edit, transform, rotate, visible. Now I'm going to say negative 90, about 0, 0, 0. Okay, and there we go. Now, if I go back into top view. Now I want to rotate this uh, back around again so that it's going to be in the same orientation it was for op 1 basically just flipped over alright so to do that um, positive angle is going to rotate us clockwise and to go around this way I stay in top view so I'm going to say positive 90 about zero 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 Oh, and I went the wrong way. That's okay. It's real easy to fix that once you get it. It's just 180. All right. So there is op two. Now to move our zero. All right. So our zero is the intersection point of this line and this line for both ops. So basically, we put it in a vise, do op one, then just flip it over, do op two. Okay, so that that's just a quick recap on uh, understanding your views and and rotating your part. All right, you you will definitely use this again. Um, so practice that, and uh, you know you you'll eventually get to where it's just second nature once you get it memorized. Okay, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening. Um, the next upcoming tutorial is going to be uh, about using layers. I'm going to go over that um, in, in detail because that, that also is extremely important. That's another thing that you will consistently use every single time from, from now on out. Okay, so the next tutorial is going to be using layers. Then after that, I'm going to do a quick intro to masking, and then we get to, then we actually get to start drawing. Okay, so so stay stay with me here. You're just two tutorials away from drawing some geometry on the screen, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks.